Hi, my name is Brett Newton, and I am a composer and orchestrator. And the reason I'm making this video is to talk to you about an exciting new project that I'm going to be starting. Uh, as some of you may know, as a composer and orchestrator, my primary focus is writing for the wind band, uh, the concert band, the wind ensemble, and particularly in writing for woodwinds. What I'd like to talk about today is a project that I hope to be starting very soon. And as you can see, I have a bass clarinet here in my hands. And the reason for that is I'm going to be starting on a commissioning project to write a bass clarinet concerto with wind band accompaniment. Now, bass clarinet has long been a member of the wind band and indeed a member of the orchestra, but to get really great solo opportunities for this wonderful instrument, well, they're just not very common. We have these great players on the instrument out there, but the literature is somewhat lacking. So what I am going to be embarking on in the next few months is to write a brand new concerto for bass clarinet and wind band. But I need your help to make it happen. Composers don't just write music for the sake of writing music. We do it to make a living. And so I am starting a commissioning project whereby the public can help to fund and receive performance opportunities of my new bass clarinet concerto. B below in the links, I will link to the GoFundMe campaign whereby you can help support this campaign. Now, of course, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the project itself, the bass clarinet concerto that I'm envisioning. A little bit of background. This will not be my first concerto to write. Last year, I completed a double concerto for soprano and tenor saxophone, along with string accompaniment, and that should be played within the next year, uh, depending on circumstances uh, from the commissioning uh, parties. Uh, before that, I've got a concerto for bassoon, a concerto for oboe, and a concerto for contrabassoon. And the contrabassoon concerto has recently gotten some interest from uh, a few very well-known players as well. So this will not be the, the first concerto I've done. Last year, I had received a commission for a piece for the bigger brother of this, the contra alto clarinet, which came and got great reviews from its uh, premiere at the Eastman School of Music last year. But let's talk a little bit about the concerto I envision. Now before I ever start out writing a piece, I spend usually several months just thinking about what the piece is going to entail. This piece is going to be kind of special. As you can see, I've got a wall of books behind me. I am an avid reader. I have also taught English before, and I think that teaching of English, teaching of storytelling has really influenced my composing. And in particular, it's the thinking about character arcs. And if we think about a concerto, and we think of it in terms of characters, well, our soloist is the hero, the, the protagonist of the story. Well, as I was reading the other night, I started thinking, yeah, the hero's interesting, but you know who's usually more interesting? The villain. What if the soloist of a concerto becomes the villain, fighting against the rest of the band? And herein, I started to just hear in my head the sounds of a new concerto, and I started to get really excited. This is my bass clarinet concerto. Ah, I finally got the spark for it. I bet other people might like this idea because, let's face it, you go see a uh, big comic book movie or an action movie, and it's like, you really want a well-developed villain. The dark, sinister side of the bass clarinet, I think, can fill that role really well. I can blend in 
with the band and then it could stand out. So here's my idea of the piece. The first movement, three movement work. The first movement we will see how the villain develops. Starting from being just a normal good guy, a member of the group, but wanting to be that individual that stands out among all the others, rising to power and utterly dominating the texture by the end. The second movement, our slow movement, we see that most necessary of things that the villain must have, the villain's lair, their evil hideout. This has been personified and portrayed in literature and movies in all sorts of ways, and I think this can have some really exciting tone color experiments. And then finally, the last movement is the villain's downfall. What happens when they're finally defeated? The band overtakes them. Or maybe they triumph. Who knows? That's in for the storytelling. But this is the plan, and this is why I'm so excited about it, because I don't know of another concerto, another piece of music that's really taken on the, the main voice, really being our antagonist. So, I want help in doing this. Now, in this regard, I have talked to several prominent bass clarinet players and soloists, and they are fully on board with me. Uh, I've talked to the international bass clarinet soloist Jason Alder, who is a good friend of mine, and we'll be working together on it. A local player, uh, Dr. Cheyenne Cruz, who is professor uh, clarinet at the University of Texas at Arlington and also a bass clarinet specialist is also going to be helping me out on the project. But I want more collaborators and there are many different ways you can help collaborate. By going to the GoFundMe page you can see all the different levels in which you can participate. It ranges just from a bare minimum donation of a few dollars all the way up to having the concerto fully dedicated to you. So if you want to add to the bass clarinet's literature and to get a really exciting piece where the bass clarinet really gets to become a big time actor, why not consider helping me out and going to the GoFundMe link down below and let's get a great bass clarinet concerto into the literature. Thanks so much and I hope you enjoy this, and I hope we get a great bass clarinet concerto out of this project. Thanks.